Hey folks, Paul Yu here from the Cloud Native Advocacy team. And today I'm gonna to show you a quick demo on how easy it can be to fine tune your open source models with Kaito. Before we start, for those of you that don't know, Kaito is an open source operator on Kubernetes that enables you to easily work with open source models directly within your AKS cluster. One key benefit is that it streamlines much of the underlying infrastructure provisioning process, process, which can be a bit challenging, especially when you're working with GPUs. Now, Kaito initially launched with the ability to deploy open source models found on Hugging Face with inferencing endpoints, and it's all available within your local cluster. To get started, you can get started pretty easily using these things called Kaito model presets. And what these presets are is basically um, models and GPU configurations that the Kaito engineering team has vetted for you, almost like a prepackaged workspace. And to deploy a preset workspace, all it takes is about 12 lines of YAML, and Kaito does the rest. And I'll show you how it's done right now. So if I switch over to my terminal and copy that bit of YAML and paste it in, um, you can see here, it's it's literally just a few lines of YAML. Um, all I'm doing here is I'm, I'm using this preset called Phi, Phi 3 Mini, and I'm deploying it onto this um, GPU SKU within Azure. And I'll just let that go. And from there on, uh, Kaito is doing the work in provisioning the GPU node for you, installing the GPU device plugins, and downloading the model and setting up the inference endpoint for you. Now, this can take a while. So what we can do is we can actually just watch the workspace. And after a few minutes, you'll start to see uh, the resource ready and the inference ready show up as true. So I'm not gonna make you wait on this. So we'll um, skip ahead, fast forward. And once it's ready, we'll come back and we'll test it out. All right. Looks like the inferencing endpoint is ready. Uh, I can actually use my test app and see um, what this model is all about. So let me just break out of this command. And I can just do a quick check for my pods and services. And you can see that I have a new pod uh, that's running my uh, model. And then you can see I have a service. Uh, this is basically the endpoint that I can query. So I'll just go ahead and copy that. And then I'll flip over to my test app that I have deployed in my cluster. And I just wanna make sure that the service matches, okay? And then I'll ask it a question. And so what I'm gonna say is, um, let's say, what is AKS? I know what AKS is and I hope, hopefully you do too, but let's see if the model knows. And it's running, okay. Um, this is clearly not what I was expecting. Um, I was looking for something more cloud oriented. Um, but I mean, this is kind of a problem with uh, large language models is that they've been trained on a lot of data, um, but maybe not the specific data that you need. You see, uh, users expect chatbots to be accurate and just know what you mean, you know what I mean? Um, this is where fine tuning can actually help give open source models domain specific knowledge to complete specialized tasks. I work in Kubernetes in the cloud all day. And so this is a situation where I'm just expecting it to be aware um, that I'm referring to Azure Kubernetes service. So let's go fine tune this. So Kaito has actually um, introduced fine tuning um, capabilities. And basically what you need is in order to uh, perform fine tuning, you need an in input data set. And that input data set needs to be in a very specific format. So it needs to be in this format here. And it's all documented in the GitHub repo. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leverage uh, this data set that's available out on Hugging Face. And it basically has a lot of information around uh, Kubernetes and um, cloud computing in general. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leverage this data set and deploy in tuning workspace using Kaito. So what I'll do is I'll just clear my screen. And so here, uh, what I'm saying is um, 
I want to use that data set that I was just looking at. And I want to use the Q LoRa format for the tuning job. And I'm using another preset here. Uh, the Kaito team has actually engineered a preset specifically for fine tuning. And so I'm just going to go with whatever the Kaito engineering team is uh, suggesting we do. And I'm actually going to deploy it onto a little bit of a beefier uh, virtual machine. So it's going to use the A100 SKU. Um, the output artifact will be a container image. And so I need to actually publish that container image into my own private container registry. In this case, it's going to be Azure Container Registry. And in order to push into that registry, it's going to need uh, some credentials. And so I am uh, passing in my um, container registry secret that I have created as a Docker uh, registry secret in my Kubernetes cluster. Okay, So we'll go ahead and let this manifest run. And again, uh, it's going to be a little bit longer. Actually, it's going to be much longer for the fine tuning job because um, what this will do is the workspace will actually go provision the GPU node, um, get the base model, download the data set, and then start the fine tuning job. So depending on how large your input data set is, uh, that'll determine how long um, this thing will run. So we'll wait for the, um, again, the resource ready to be true, and then we can kind of see the job. And then um, it's going to take, a, like I said, many hours to complete, but you won't, I won't make you wait that long. We'll just fast forward the video and then we'll see what we get on the other side. So um, yeah, we'll just wait here for the resource to be ready. All right, looks like our resource is ready. So let's go see what it's doing on the back end. So if I can do a uh, kubectl get job, you can see that the tuning workspace has created a Kubernetes job. And what I should see is I should see uh, a pod being initialized. So there we go. So this tuning job has created this tuning pod. And this is where we're in the initialization phase. So it's downloading the data set, it's downloading the base model, and then we'll start to see uh, the job running. So we'll give this uh, another few minutes to finish initializing, and then we'll just take a quick peek at some of the uh, tuning job logs. So um, we'll be back in a second. All right, so looks like the pod has finished initializing and it's in running state. Let's go take a look at some of the logs. So just clear my screen here and I'll do uh... So that's the name of my pod. And if I go check the logs here, um, there's a bunch of stuff that's going to fly by, but you'll start to see this percentage here. And this is going to be the indicator for you to know um, how far along uh, this job is in the tuning process. So uh, looks like we have a ways to go. So we're just going to fast forward from this point and it's going to take a few hours, but we'll be back in another second. All right, so it's been a few hours and my job has actually completed. And what I can do is I can actually test the fine tuned model uh, within my test application. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm actually going to delete the old um, workspace. Actually, not the tuning workspace. Uh, I am actually going to delete my old inferencing workspace. So that's gone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy a brand new inferencing workspace. But check this out. It's a little bit different here. Now, uh, with the new addition or the, the newer version of Kaito, um, I now have the opportunity to add adapters to my existing inferencing workspace. So here um, I'm plugging in uh, this new adapter called Kubernetes adapter. And remember it's been trained on Kubernetes and cloud uh, platform data. And I'm actually going to point to a container image that's in my registry and also pass in my registry secret so it knows how to pull down that container. Okay, And you can have um, a number of different adapters here and they can also be weighted. Uh, so there's a strength here. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy that. And 
same deal. We have to kind of wait for the workspace to fully provision. And so uh, just within a few minutes, we should see uh, resource ready and inference ready set to true. And then from there, we can actually test uh, our fine tune model. So we'll be back in another second. All right, so looks like my brand new fine tuned workspace is ready to go. I see the resource is ready and the inference is ready. So let's go check out some of the new resources that it has created. Um, so I do have a new pod and it's called Workspace Phi 3 Mini Adapter because it has the uh, fine tuned adapter attached to it. And here is my new service name. So um, Pretty much the same, but just with the adapter at the end of it. So what I'll do is I will flip back over to my demo app and I will update this with my new endpoint and I'll say new chat. And what should happen is I should get a better response. So what is AKS? I do that. Hey, look at that. So right off the bat, it says AKS is an acronym for Azure Kubernetes Service. That's exactly what I wanted. You see, with fine tuning, we can give base models additional capabilities and specific skills. Here, I wanted my model to just tell me a little bit more about AKS, but you can fine tune based on whatever requirements you have. And if you want to further customize your fine tuning job, you can actually do that by going over to the um, fine tuning document in the uh, Kaito GitHub. And what you can do is you can actually create additional tuning configurations and save those into your cluster as a config map. And so if you're a little more experienced in fine tuning and want to uh, really control how the fine tuning is done, um, you can do that by passing in these additional parameters. So hopefully you got a chance to see uh, how easy it is to fine tune your open source models um, with Kaito. Uh, I encourage you to all give it a try. Um, and as always, head over to the Kaito repo. And if you have any feedback, any questions, anything uh, that you need answered, um, submit an issue or a pull request and we'll be happy to help you there. All right, so that's, that's it for the demo and we'll see you on the next one.